Hello, what's up beautiful people? My name is Doreen and I'm going to show you how to crochet this one hand poncho. It's so beautiful. If you're new here, please subscribe. And I'm going to crochet a sample of it, a small sample, because when you crochet a bigger one like this, it will take time. So I'm going to, to show you all the basic on how to crochet this beautiful one hand poncho. The pattern that I'm using is called honeycomb stitch so beautiful the more the bigger the hook the bigger this the the holes the smaller the hook the smaller the hole so you can choose which hook to use i'm going to use a medium size yarn this is a medium size yarn but you can choose your yarn you can use a, a smaller than this one so it will depend the way you like it if you are new here please subscribe and thank you for all my subscribers and we are going to start together please follow it till the end you'll get what it looks like we are going to use a medium size yarn that is winter king i'm going to use white and also we'll need some stitch markers of course a crochet and i'm going to use 6.0 millimeter and please if you like this video give it a thumbs up and just comment if you do you have not understand anything just comment there in my comment then i'll give you a uh, feedback uh i'm going to chain a smaller one but if you are medium size you crochet 100 if you're using a crochet bigger one like this of mine if you are extra large you can crochet 120 to 130 140 so mine it's just going to be small because i'm going to to show you a sample because when you do the full thing take a lot of time so when you finish you chain one if you have crochet 100 then you go back from the chain the second chain you do a single crochet three single crochet on different loops then you chain this one. then you chain three one two three like that you come back and count chain one two three the fourth one you do a single crochet to the next one and the other one three single crochet then chain three count one two three the fourth one you make a single crochet let's meet at the end if you have finished this is just a repeat you chain three count one two three the fourth one the fourth one you you single crochet three single crochet before you chain three again one two three four the fourth one like that like that at the end here you chain seven one two three four five six seven then you turn you omit this one to the third one we do a double crochet after seven the third one the third single crochet you put a double crochet then on top of this chain three you're going to do a single crochet then the first loop of ch chain uh, a single crochet we do a double crochet then at the end you can see this is the first one then you chain one two three the last single crochet here you do a double crochet after double you do a single on top of the rope down here you do a double crochet before you go to the last one you chain 
one two three then double crochet then a single then double and chain three two three then down here double crochet chain uh, single crochet double crochet you chain three one two three at the end here you put uh that is a double crochet the end do a double crochet then you turn it will look like this that is our first line so on our second line which will be a repeat of all the lines because we finish with a double crochet here we are just going to turn with a single crochet on top of the rope then double crochet the first loop here we have one two three the first loop of single crochet on top here you put a double crochet then you chain one two three at the end here you do a double crochet then on top of the chain a single crochet then immediately after the chain it's a double crochet on the first loop on this side because we have one two three so on the third loop we'll first do a chain three then double crochet then si single crochet on top of the chain then double crochet immediately after the chain then you chain three you put on the last double crochet then it's a single we continue like that it will be a trend it's a repeat of the line you can see our hand cob is coming this is how beautiful it looks like so chain three don't forget if you forget you you will either make this thing look so big and also confusing because you will not know how to start or the counting will not add up so on top of here we are finished with uh, a single crochet so when the line is like this you go back you count one two three on the third one you make a double crochet and it will look like this and then you turn so you have finished the first line the second line and this is the third so you're going to the fourth line uh, immediately you turn you chain seven one two three four five six seven after you chain seven here on the last one two three on the last one you do a double crochet immediately after a double crochet you put single crochet then a double crochet you chain three so we are going to do a repeat of the same let's meet uh, if you have found our desire height the height depends on uh, how tall you are or how short you are so we are going to finish this one this is how beautiful it looks like you can see our honeycomb looks very well so our pattern will be looking like this because you're using a bigger hook let me continue like five six seven lines then i come and show you another thing how to put uh the the next side eh? this is how our sample looks like assume this is from the hip side to the neck so this is the next side and this is the side that you are going to put with the one hand so what you do we are going back you chain 
because we are here that is a single crochet then a double chain three we are continuing the way we were doing if you have not subscribed please subscribe and watch till the end because it will not take long because it's a sample and it's so easy and very 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 beautiful poncho and also it's a cover-up you can use it as a cover-up so when we are here let's assume we want our neck to be in this side and this side is where our hand is so you count from here this is one two three here it's three and here is three so that means from here to here it's six and from here to here six plus three so it's nine you chain nine and then you come and put it here so you're going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine to look like that so after you chain nine because we are going to put at the end here you come and put a double crochet at the end of the nine then chain then a single crochet on top of the chain three then at the end here at the end of chain three i told you you put a double crochet like that so this is where we'll put our our hole for the neck then you turn so if you are doing a bigger one you don't need to put just one here you can continue you leave a space maybe where from where, where you you your hand can fit so if your hand fits here you put here so assume this is one for the doll and the doll hand fits here so you can leave a bigger space on whatever you are doing this is just a sample so immediately you turn because you are finished with this one you chain seven one two three four five six seven then here a double crochet and because this one we we are we want to know where chain three ends you say one two three put a single crochet on top of that then make sure the fourth one you put a double crochet immediately after double crochet you chain one two and three like that then you count one two three the fourth one you put a double crochet a single sorry single crochet then because here is the end you do a double crochet then chain three one two three then we continue with our pattern like that now we have already made this part we only left two then we have added two on top so it will be equal like this so we are going to crochet until we fold this place so make sure this side it's equal than this side if you're crocheting uh 50 line this side make sure it's 50 line the other side if you're crocheting 10 or 20 line this side make sure the other side is 20 so that we can fold like this and it's equal this side and this side so let's continue like that and meet at the end here one two three make sure you chain three so that it will be equal and do not forget the pattern because if you forget only one thing it it's bring another thing because it may enlarge or reduce if you reduce it so make sure you are accurate you count whenever you are going like that 
we turn immediately we turn if you are finished with a double crochet it's a single crochet on top of the chain then a double crochet then chain three then like that like that so we are continuing with our pattern until we reach our maximum uh, length here I am at the end here and this is how that sheet will look like this is our neck part and this side is the same as this side then you fall together like this way so choose the wrong side my wrong side will be this side and when you choose the wrong side you you join this side of where the neck is until you leave a small space for your hand so you can decide to mark where you want your your hand to reach by measuring you can measure what size of the hand you want to have let me mark here mine will reach here so you can sew or crochet me i like crocheting because if i want to undo all these things and not cut any yarn of mine i'll just undo and get my yarn so i single crochet until the end this side you join this side using a crochet like that This is the side where you want your hand to be. This is it. We have already finished that side of join and we have found where we want our hands to be. Then you cut the yarn. Immediately you cut the yarn. You make this one to be tight. Make sure it's tight. like that this is how it will look like this is where our sides look like let me show you on this one this is it we left the neck but on this side of the neck i left a part where i can fit my my hand here so I left like one, two, three, four, five row. Then I joined here. So I'm going to show you how to add the arm. This one hand. Make a loop. You can remove the stitch marker. Where we started here. Now on the right side, because I'm not going to return where I came from, you pull the yarn, then chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After chaining seven, because it's the needle here, this is where the third one is. You put a double crochet. Then where the there's a rope. You put a single crochet, then the next one, a double crochet. You have something like this. Assume at the end of this one is three uh, loop. So you chain one, two, three, and put a double crochet. Then immediately on this kahol. You do a single crochet then the next one a double then chain one two three after chaining three at the end here you put double then when the hole where the hole is a, a single immediately after single crochet 
you put a double crochet then one two three go around until we are here so immediately after three assume this place is the third one you put a double crochet immediately after double crochet a single one then a double again if you finish like that you are finished with the double so we go to on top of this chain seven you put a single a single crochet sorry a single one like that so we have already joined this is the hand so you continue around like that uh, on top of the chain you put a single crochet on this first one a double then chain three like that at the end it's a double a double then on top then a double then chain three till continue like that until you get your desired length of your hand just like that one two three is three then double crochet at the end then single crochet on the chain immediately after chain double crochet you just go around like that double crochet immediately after double crochet you chain three then at the end double crochet immediately sorry this is at the end double crochet immediately after double crochet as a single then you start with a double chain double single then double then chain three then double the end then single just like that you continue until you get your desired height of the hand and this is our hand so after you finish the hand the desire space of your hand what you do we'll do a double crochet on top of every loop that we have where there is this chain you put two double crochet then you continue with the double crochet in all these three double crochet where this chain is on is where you only put a double crochet but if you want also your hand to be very tight where there's a chain you put only a single a, uh, a double one double crochet instead of no uh, with instead of two double crochet if you if you want it very wide you put three double crochet on top of every single so you continue like that until you reach the end of that hand it's so easy if you have not subscribed please subscribe and if you like this short video please give it a thumbs up and also comment so we are at the end here if you finish your you are double crochet round. We are now doing a cable stitch. You take up and down. On top, we pick on top and on the back, back loop and front post. We are using back loop 
and front post so you'll continue like this until when you go to round two where there is front post you put a front post where there's back post you put a back post and you will get the desire desire poncho that you like it's so easy when you get all this basic so it's like that we have finished our hand immediately you finish your hand now we are going to going to show you how to make a neck to be beautiful like this one you're also going to use a cable cable stitch you also make a loop A loop like that then you insert your hook on the third loop like that and this then we are doing as it's on the right side uh, we continue like that we are putting a double crochet in each three loops then where there is a hole I'm going to put two double crochet then where there is these loops I'm going to put double crochet all round I hope you get it if you have not followed it well and you want me to repeat for you or to explain something just give a comment also leave my number you can call me or you can go to my page crochet poncho kenya and we discuss there or follow me in my instagram Doreen Omolo. like that after you have gone round with a double crochet you'll have made your neck very well then you join here this is the first round this is how it looks the first round i hope you can see this is how it looks like then you also go around using front post and back post with a double crochet front and back but it's also optional you can decide what you want to do with your binding if you want to use other binding you just do a single crochet to make that uh, neckline then you choose which binding do you want to use to go around your neck also it's also depend with pattern that you have used if you choose not to use my pattern but you have gotten the idea how to make this one poncho hand you can still use other ways if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel subscribe let's grow from 1000 now to 100,000 subscribers we have finished the second line you if it's bigger you can do three or four lines depending on what you want if you want a very big neck you continue and you'll get the desired height that you want we'll finish here on this line this is how it looks like now we have finished the hand and the neck this is how a poncho look like so i'm going to show you how to put a binding on this side so the binding you can start from any side that you want and for me i always like to start from the corner here i just use the right side i start from the corner here i go around and finish here again so the same thing we have done the other side you start from the corner like that then just double crochet the way i told you where there is a loop you put a double crochet 
where there is chain you only put two double crochet where there is a loop you put a double crochet where there is chain you put two double crochet you continue like that round this thing you go around here you go around until you meet here then you do the same same thing you have done here uh cable stitch if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching and let's meet on the next video